Okay, so I'm lo- I'm actually in the Media Mart store. I had this long discussion, it wasn't that long, with one of the salespeople here, and I, I got permission to shoot live as long as I don't show anyone else in the store. So I'm thinking, I'm not going to show it, but they have a MacBook Pro M2 on display. And unfortunately, I couldn't even buy a MacBook Pro here today because I don't have one in stock to buy. So if I wanted one immediately, I can't do that. But it's like 4,000 euros for an M2, I think. I don't know. And then I go, well, you know what? I don't like Apple that much anymore because I'm locked in when I buy something. And I screwed up the last time because I needed more juice and besides, if my laptop is stolen, so I need a new computer. And then I go, hey, what about, well, I asked him, what do you use? And of course, he uses Windows. And I know why he uses Windows, probably because it's a lot cheaper, and you get a lot more bang for the buck sometimes, particularly if you're a gamer or an AI person. So <clears throat> they have all these gaming machines on display here with NVIDIA GeForce RTX graphics cards, which I don't know how many processors, and i got to like look and figure out all the specs here, but Intel Core, GeForce, AMD. Now, Intel is probably a little better than these, but maybe not. That's a Ryzen. That's what I had in my server. It's just AMD Ryzen 7, GeForce, AMD Ryzen 7, GeForce, AMD 7, well, it's a Ryzen. And generally speaking, you know, the more money you spend, the better machine you're going to get. So, what do I want? Well, I'm not too fussy. One of those, probably. And then, I am a, I do have a Minimark card, but if I wanted to buy one on credit, which I'm very reluctant to do, I could possibly do that and say, but I have to apply, and I actually have to pick out a machine first. I say, I want to buy this machine... I do have some income from various sources, and can I buy one on credit and leave the country and never pay you again? Probably that would be worth, that's not a good idea, but that's tempting. But I could buy one and leave the country and come back, and or I can pay my bill remotely. That should work. So, I mean, that's not a bad idea. Now, Cyberport. I mean, I never thought of buying one on credit. So, Cyberport's more for not so much consumers, but IT people who know what they're doing. But they don't have a member card. <clears throat> and that's where I bought my server, but of course they won't give me a discount because they won't. So, who am I more loyal to? Mediamark. At least right now. So let's check it out. I mean, one of these, I mean, Windows is not bad. And then I can run Linux on here, no problem, without having to monkey around with drivers and all that kind of thing. Or I'd have to get a virtual machine on Mac, and that's not good. So I should get a Windows machine. Now, I mean, whatever. Nitro. I could get a Windows laptop. And then maybe a Mac one, a used Mac. But why even get a Mac? I mean, if you're not doing high end stuff, Buy a used one if you like Mac and use that. And if you want to do high-end stuff, buy a Windows machine that's the latest and greatest. And use that one because it's just better and easier to deal with. Now, this is interesting. He told I didn't know this. If you monkey with the hardware configuration of these things, like, for example, upgrading the memory, that voids the warranty somehow. And I go, well, why is that? That doesn't seem fair. Why can't you add more memory yourself or even have the store do it or have HP do it? I mean, who makes these? Somebody. One of them was HP. Yeah. Oh, there's a gaming one. What's this one? I mean, they're all gaming. RTX G4 AMD Radeon AMD Ryzen 7 that's Lenovo Lenovo Nitro 
I mean, Lenovo is a good brand. Those are kind of, and that one's a lot. Look at this one, <clears throat> two thousand. That's gonna be a good one. Two thousand for that machine. 